Hello everyone. My name is Radhakrishnan Chakyat. I am a commercial photographer based out of Mumbai and I am also an X-Rite Colorati master and also a YouTuber at Pixel Village. So we're going to be talking about color and how you can achieve good colors using Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop and of course with the help of some fantastic monitors from ASUS. Uh, I'm going to be using the PA279CV and this one is the PA a 148 CTV. It's a touch panel. Both are from the Pro Art series. So to today's uh, topic about color. Now in the web designing world, there is this famous uh, or popular acronym called the VisiWig. What you see is what you get. Uh, I think it is more relevant to a photographer than a web designer because we work with colors, all right. But VisiWig means what you see is what you get. And uh, in a photographer's world, I would replace the Y with an I, saying that what I see is ideally what you should get. But in real world scenario, we see that it it, it happens, but it doesn't happen by default. Uh, that's probably because though the digital world has really enabled you to handle colors across the platform with relative ease by, you know, putting these international color consortium standards by way of using profiles, we, we still don't really get them primarily due to, let's say, lack of real understanding or probably due to this carelessness saying that look i bought the best camera i bought the best computer color should come by default but unfortunately that is not the case so one must really understand the importance of handling color especially the color profiles throughout your workflow in order to let the viewer see what you saw as a photographer I should actually make sure that what left from my studio is what I saw. After which you don't have too much of control on it, except that if the person down the line, uh, you know, follows that same discipline, then of course you will start getting it. So we have to start with a good monitor, a good monitor, which is calibratable and also capable of showing you the colors that you have shot, okay? Which means your camera, your display, and your target device all should be calibrated. If at any point, if your calibration goes out, at that point, you will start seeing false colors. Chances are that you will see false colors and brightness and contrast there. So you need to start with a great monitor. Here we are starting with a fantastic monitor, a 4K monitor from ASUS, the PA279CV, uh, which can reproduce 100% of sRGB and 100% of Rec. 709. Now the sRGB is something which is predominantly used in the internet world and for all practical purposes, digital printing is also perfectly okay uh, with sRGB. Now you must do a little bit of additional reading about color consortium, color profiles and what is sRGB and what is Adobe RGB and what is Rec. 709. Now these two monitors are actually Kalman certified for color accuracy one and it is also has a delta word it's the error value which is less than two these two monitors to show you excellent colors you must keep them in ideal viewing conditions which basically means that no flaring you should have even lighting at the backdrop preferably a 5600 you know uh, Kelvin colors or at least the color should not vary during your work times. If it happens, you will start seeing false colors. So if that is the way you're going to work with this, just go to the uh, menu, pick the kind of uh, color calibration that requires. You have uh, lots of uh, color uh, calibration profiles available in the monitor. Pick that and start using it instantly. In order to do that, you need to go to, of course, uh, you to run the uh, Lightroom uh, edit menu, 
preferences and in preferences external editing and you need to pick an appropriate uh, setting here so i personally prefer to edit in tiff okay not in jpeg jpeg i would use the jpeg for distribution but for me to create my master file i will use a tiff and preferably in adobe rgb but since predominantly my target is srgb and i'm going to pick uh, srgb as an option my resolution i come from the print world so i keep it as 300 dpi and i don't use any compression so which means whenever i click process here and open on photoshop it will pick tiff srgb and a 16 bit file which means it's got maximum information and it will open up in uh, photoshop now once that is done okay the system understands that this is my preference what you are looking at here is my raw file it contains everything and now i have to start working on these images uh when i look at it it's a perfectly exposed image let me see if i go have something else yeah this one probably have uh, some overexposed uh, area so i will start working on it for working uh as you has a very interesting feature in the uh, in this particular uh, touch panel so i it's called the control panel it's basically allow me to uh, have a very intuitive way of using the lightroom controls using this particular uh, touch uh, screen well typically we would use um, uh, the mouse or an external device but this has a two in one usage well, I need to activate it in control settings, activate it. So this is the kind of screen that I will get when I enable. I can use this, that particular thing called the control panel with almost all Adobe softwares. So Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere, After Effects all are supported. So once I apply, I get the control panel. It looks something like this and it is customizable. So all these keys can be custom you know what a customizable uh, feature is so i can pick any of these go to the control panel setup and customize this and i can use this you know as a, a touch panel to zoom i can control the clarity here i i have you know quick controls to you know rotate the image just touch and it rotates uh, it can stack, it can undo and redo, I can flag, I can unflag, I can reject, I can do a whole lot of things. Now when I look at this image and look at the corresponding histogram, um, I see this image as a little kind of overexposed. The highlights are a little blown, but I've shot raw, so I can actually control this image. The first thing I'll do is to reduce the white a little. Okay, so I've reduced and I can also see corresponding changes happening here and then I'll pull the highlight a little. So when I look at the histogram, I can see that it has now come in to the usable uh, gamut. Now what I'm going to do is to open up the shadows a little. So I'm going to open the blacks a little. The saturation is perfect. Both files are being opened now. Uh, go to Windows and arrange them side by side. These are two images. This one is worked on uh, another computer. This one is worked on this monitor. Now this, as you can see, this is kind of gone green and cold. This is now nice and warm work with best tools a 4k monitor a 27 inch monitor i told you it's the pa279 cv which is which is calman certified uh, calibratable monitor and here i have uh, the 148 cv i also use this when i shoot outdoors this is my monitor i mean when you shoot outdoors uh, your lcd of your camera uh, will not really 
kind of give you good color reproduction in such cases i connect and play it onto this monitor and see if i've got everything right so i use this small smart uh, monitor as my preview monitor as well when i go out so that's what my workflow is very simple this is the best i can explain in the uh, the time given to me so this is radha krishnan chakya signing off hope to meet you soon with another episode on color bye for now